Hi, I'm Cameron from Heartland Bros Golf, and before I hit some 300 yard drives, I like to warm up with super speed. In today's video, we will be showing you how to hit 300 yard drives and we'll be showing you my brother Cameron as you saw earlier and how he hits 300 plus yard drives. We will analyze his numbers on ES14 launch monitor and we'll also analyze his swing to show you why he hits 300 plus drives and what you can do to gain more distance off the tee. Let's go. Cam's now going to hit a few drives to collect data. Distance 318 yards. Here is Cameron's launch monitor data on his 318 yard drive. His club speed was 118 miles an hour. This is crucial to getting drives over 300 yards. You need your club speed at least 110 miles per hour to be able to get that amount of distance. His ball speed was really fast at 175 miles per hour. The pros try and get 170 to 180 mile per hour ball speeds to hit long drives, and this is right around the PGA Tour average. His smash factor was 1.48, which means he hits his shot very solid. 1.5 and 1.51 smash factor is as solid as you can hit, so Cam actually could have got a little more distance out of this drive. His launch was really good at 11 degrees. You want your launch somewhere between 10 and 14 degrees to get the optimum distance. His spin rate at 2,179 revs was really good. You need a combination of medium to high launch to low spin to get the most distance possible. His distance, as you see, was 318 yards, one big drive. Here is Cameron's swing on the 318-yard drive. I'll show you why this drive went far and show you how you can get more distance too. So here as he takes the club back in the back swing, he gets a big wide turn. See, so he completes his turn. You see how his chest is pointed back at the target and it's a full complete shoulder turn. This creates a chance to add more power on the downswing as he rotates through. A big turn is a good way to start gaining club head speed. As Steve goes down, you see the lag right there as he unwinds. The lag also increases his club head speed. And as he's going through the ball, he hits nice and up. You see how he extends with his legs? That's how he explodes. He's down and then up as he slightly jumps onto his toes. That creates the explosiveness as he hits up on the ball. That's how he got his 118 club head speed, which equated to that 318 yard drive. So that's how I hit it over 300 yards. With high ball speed, low spin, and mid to high launch. For you to get your own quest to 300 yards, I recommend doing a fuller swing back to increase speed and lag on the way down. So hit the like button if you liked and subscribe for more.